today I'm on a roll, man. I wanted to get a few things off my chest. I talk about a few of these things, and I've mentioned these in a few videos before, but I wanted to kind of collectively bring all of my angst to the forefront of my of my um, audience, I guess. I, every All of you guys watching this right now are going to hear my internal thoughts about the trip that I have planned to, to Germany. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, the only time that I have actually traveled outside of the country as an adult um, has been when I went to Korea. Um, I lived in Korea for a year and it was an amazing experience, exhilarating. It was t 20 times better than what I could have ever imagined and I want to travel. Now, there are three major fears that I have about traveling to Germany and um, there were fears that I had in the beginning. Some of them are newer fears that I have now. And I know some of them I've addressed before, but we're gonna revisit those in this video. And um, like, uh, this isn't like, a, a, like, oh my God, like I'm dunking on Germany or anything. This is just my genuine concerns for myself um, traveling to a country I've never been to before. And that would be angst number one. Or, my, or I guess the first thing we'll talk about that makes me a bit fearful, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the first thing is traveling to a foreign country I've never been to by myself, um, not knowing the layout of the country. Now, yes, I've played a lot of GeoGuessr. We've seen that. And yes, it's very fun. It's exhilarating. I love it. I get to figure out where I am in a place I've never been before. But that's exactly how it's going to be when I get to Germany. I'm not going to know anything. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to know where anything's located. I'm not going to know any people. And that's scary. That's really scary if you think about it. You're by yourself, you're traveling to another country, and you're just like, wow. But on the flip side, um, I'm also, I'm an optimist at the end of the day, you know. Yes, I have fears, and that's what I'm talking about in this video. But on the optimistic side, it's going to be so beautiful. I've seen so many pictures of Germany, and I'm excited to see, like, the, the obviously, like, the, um, the architecture out there. Um, the, 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 the culture, the nature and stuff, everything, like just how everything looks, the mountains, there's so many mountains in Germany, oh my God, like it's insane, castles, castles, oh my God, like yes, but going to a foreign country that you've never been to before is scary because there's just a lot that goes through your head and that's where we kind of segue into this next part of my angst about going to Germany. I'm gonna be going to Germany, guys. This is not me saying I'm not gonna to go to Germany. I'm 100% going to Germany, but these are just me and my uh, my worries about Germany. And you guys can let me know how I can probably get over that. Um, I've got over some, most of these that I'm giving you guys, but um, through the planning of this trip, these are just you know things that I, um, I think about a lot. Uh, getting lost in Germany. Imagine, okay, so one scenario I had always had in my head, right? I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to plan a trip to Germany for a month, right? I'm going to, you know, stay in, like in a hotel of some sort or an Airbnb of some sort for a month. And I'm going to explore as much of Germany as possible. But the problem is, what if I go out and then I like get lost? I don't know the streets. I can't speak very good German at that point, And I can't really understand very much. But this is like early on in my le German learning, you know, stages. Like this was like last year, like in maybe the first half of last year and I was like dang like what if I get lost bro that's scary like getting lost in general even in your own country is a bit worrisome but you kind of know how to find your way but in a foreign country it's just way different because everything's st structured way differently and uh, it operates a bit different you know um, and even asking for directions like how many people really know English you know like dang like I mean I'd say about like 90% of Germans know English really well you know at least can understand it um, and it's, and it's, which is very impressive to me, but like I, I, I go off of the, you know, the, the preconceived notion that even though people know it doesn't mean they can speak English well back to you. And what if I don't understand German? You know, those are, those are things I worried about. Now I can speak German a lot better. It's not great, but it's understandable. And I understand a lot more German. So, um, I, I, can, I can actually understand people giving me directions and stuff and I can ask people to speak a bit slower since I'm not really like an expert at speaking German or anything, but that's another fear I definitely had. Um, and a third fear that I had was not having enough money for Germany because I, yo, that's one of my biggest fears, yo, still one of my biggest fears because I know that the Euro is way more expensive and it's worth way more than the US dollar. The US dollar is pretty much chump change compared to the euro. Um, 
So my biggest fear was not having enough money to do what I desired to do out there. So I remember I was asking people, like, how much money should I bring out to Germany? Like, I don't know. Like, should I bring like bring like 10 G's out there or something like that? You know what I mean? Like, is 10 grand enough to do stuff in Germany? Like, or is that not enough? Like, because the Euro is so much, yo. Like, 10 grand in uh, from US dollars is what? Like, I'm, I'm taking a rough guesstimate, guys. So if somebody can pull out the little calculator, converter, whatever. But I'm just, I'm willing to bet that's like seven thousand dollars. Like the ten thousand dollars would be for um, you know my plane flight and my hotel stay. I might need to bring more money, you know, like to to eat food, you know, every day, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and stuff, you know, like stuff like that, you know, like that's that's a real thing. Maybe fifteen thousand dollars or something. I don't know how much I need to bring with me. Like how much do you need to bring to Germany to to enjoy yourself, you know? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I, I I have a big angst about that. I'm like, bro, like, I don't know. Like, I've never been to Germany before. <laughs> like, like when people vacation out there, and they, normally people vacation for a few days. I'm planning on staying out there for a month. And a lot of times when people vacation to Germany and stay longer than a few days, they're a part of some sort of program. They're being sponsored or something. I'm paying out of pocket, bruh. So I'm just saying, like, how much your boy got to bring, okay? Minimum and like, what's the cap that I should bring? Like, what's the maximum cap? Like, bro, don't bring more than this, all right? Um, let me know in the comments down below. But that's another thing I was a bit worried about because I was just like, dang, like, oh, geez, you know? So, um, yeah, uh, I guess the final thing that I was worried about and I've talked about a lot, man, is, and, and, and I'm worried about it because I know that people do this here a lot and I'm expecting it to happen to me and I, I'm, 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 I'll embrace it, but it's still going to be kind of a scary experience if it does happen. Um, but people just being very cold, you know, very cold, you know. Um, obviously, with anybody that doesn't know who you are, they're going to be a bit cold no matter where you go. Um, they're a bit, maybe they're a bit nicer in America because people like talking to random people. But from what I understand with the culture out there, like people aren't really like, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? But they're not going to be like, Yo, like, don't fucking talk to me. But the, there, there's not an urge to, like, you know, generate small talk at all. So I'm a guy that loves small talk and then developing awesome friendships through small talk. So I think, like, putting myself out there and, and really, um, you know, trying to, to reach and make more friends in, in Germany um, is going to be a bit difficult from what I, I predict. And my fear is that, you know, people just won't be rocking with your boy like that. You know, I'll be out there and the people are like, ugh. Ugh, why does he wear that stupid headband? Oh, oh, why does he? Oh, why does he walk like? Oh, 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 oh. And of course, I want to speak German with people, you know. And like, oh, his German's horrible. Why did you come here again? <laughs> okay, well, you need to go back. Okay, you need to go back as soon as possible. Like, I'm just expecting people to just say some off the wall stuff. I mean, I, the, the, but to 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 wrap this video up on a on a positive note, right? I don't want people to think that like these are things like oh man like he's not going to go to Germany. I'm a hundred percent going to Germany. I said it earlier in the video. Um, these are things that sometimes plague my thoughts whenever I'm just sitting idle. But I do know that um, a good the good experience comes from your attitude. If you go into a situation with a negative attitude, you're going to have a negative experience. I'm going to have a positive attitude going into that. I see these are things that even though I fear. Um, I have mentally prepared for so I can embrace it and have a good time regardless. I'm the vibe. When I get there, I am the vibe. I want people to feed off of my energy, okay? When I'm out there, no one knows who I am. Maybe people know who I am. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Would you be able to recognize this face that is sitting in front of you right now if I landed in Germany and I was walking around the street willy-nilly? Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I feel like my friends and colleagues and stuff at work and um, people I've always interacted with, they say that I have a, I'm a very charismatic person in, in person. So I feel like all of that angst aside, I feel like my, um, my, my uh, people skills will take over and my autopilot and my body will take over and everything will go really well. But those are just things I worry about. These, these are probably typical things every, uh, you know, trap, traveler has you know um when they travel for the first time by themselves when i traveled to korea i actually went with a group of people um but this is the first time i will be traveling on vacation to a foreign country by myself which is going to be very interesting so 
um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I wanted to vent a little bit today and talk to you guys about some interesting things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter. We're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever okay it's simple just go ahead and do those little things we're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything and it really means a lot now i know you guys stumbled up across the channel and you're like what does this guy post like what kind of content does he post reactions vlogs pretty much whatever comes to my mind all right it's random content i don't know what i'm gonna be posting 10 years from now but i do know that you can stick along for the journey and it really means a lot now for every single person that subscribes and follows all of the accounts that I have made and the, all the links will be in the description down below. That's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing and I will see you in the next video. Take care, peace.